Don't forget to visit IELTSIELTS.com and sign up for the free newsletter. Also, if you are a paid subscriber through YouTube, don't forget that you can listen to the full shadowing exercises as a playlist, which allows you to do shadowing exercises while on the go, whether that's while you're in your car, while you're jogging, or in a quiet place at home. Remember that the description area of each video includes a full transcript of the exercise, which you can print and reference as you complete your training. This week, we are looking at a part one demonstration wherein the examiner asks the candidate about computers. Here are the questions that are asked by the examiner in today's model. Where do you live? Do you work or are you a student? What is your favorite subject to study? You said that you are interested in technology. Were you passionate about it from a young age? What do you prefer to use, a tablet or a computer, and why? When did you start using computers? Do you think spending a lot of time on a computer is useful? As always, the model response you will hear in this episode was scripted by an active IELTS examiner at the band 9 level. Let's go ahead and listen to the model now. Where do you live? I currently reside in Frankfurt, which is located in Germany. It's a bustling city known for its diverse multicultural community. Do you work or are you a student? I'm a dedicated student at the University of Frankfurt, pursuing a degree in computer science. This academic journey is a vital step towards realizing my passion for innovation in the technology sector. What is your favorite subject to study? Among the subjects I'm studying, I have a particular fondness for economics, its intricate analysis of market dynamics, and its impact on society intrigue me. I'm constantly motivated to delve deeper into the complexities of supply and demand, and how economic policies shape our world. You said that you are interested in technology. Were you passionate about it from a young age? Yes, indeed. Since my childhood, I've harbored an unwavering fascination for technology. From experimenting with simple gadgets to immersing myself in programming, my passion for technology has been an integral part of my life's journey. What do you prefer to use, a tablet or a computer, and why? While both tablets and computers have their merits, I tend to gravitate towards computers. The robust processing power and versatile capabilities of a computer are indispensable for tasks such as software development and data analysis. Additionally, the ergonomic comfort of a full-sized keyboard and larger screen contribute to my productivity. When did you start using computers? My initiation into the world of computers began around the age of 10. It all started with basic operations and gradually expanded to more advanced functions and applications. Do you think spending a lot of time on a computer is useful? Spending a significant amount of time on a computer can indeed yield substantial benefits, provided it's approached with purpose and balance. Computers have revolutionized various domains, enabling efficient research, communication, and innovation. However, it's imperative to strike a harmony between screen time and other aspects of a balanced life, such as physical activities and social interactions. This can help ensure a more holistic sense of well-being. Thank you. Okay, this week we are going to do a speech shadowing exercise that uses the response to the question, what do you prefer to use, a tablet or a computer, and why? I'll read this portion of the sample again to you now, just to refresh your memory. So, the examiner asks, What do you prefer to use, a tablet or a computer, and why? While both tablets and computers have their merits, I tend to gravitate towards computers. The robust processing power and versatile capabilities of a computer are indispensable for tasks such as software development and data analysis. Additionally, the ergonomic comfort of a full-sized keyboard and larger screen contribute to my productivity. Okay, we will now start the speech shadowing exercise. If this is your first time doing a speech shadowing exercise, remember you should be speaking aloud as you listen. 
So you will first hear a portion of the sample, and then you will be given a pause within which to repeat what you have heard. And the point of the exercise is to try to adjust your pronunciation to sound as much like the model as possible. And in doing these exercises for just 20 minutes a day, I guarantee you will see noteworthy improvement in only a few weeks' time. Remember that you can get access to full speech shadowing exercises directly through my YouTube channel. For $25 US dollars per month, you can get access to a new lesson every Monday, plus over a hundred other lessons in the library, all scripted by active IELTS examiners at the Band 9 level. So go to YouTube and search for IELTS Ryan to get access to this library. Okay, let's go ahead and start this week's speech shadowing exercise. Enjoy. What do you prefer to use, a tablet or a computer, and why? While both tablets and computers have their merits, I tend to gravitate towards computers. I tend to gravitate towards computers. Gravitate. Gravitate. I tend to gravitate towards computers. While both tablets and computers have their merits, have their merits, have their merits. While both tablets and computers have their merits, while both tablets and computers have their merits, I tend to gravitate towards computers. The robust processing power and versatile capabilities of a computer are indispensable for tasks such as software development and data analysis. for tasks such as software development and data analysis. And data analysis. And data analysis. For tasks such as software development, and data analysis. The robust processing power and versatile capabilities of a computer versatile capabilities versatile capabilities the robust processing power and versatile capabilities of a computer the robust processing power and versatile capabilities of a computer are indispensable for tasks such as software development and data analysis additionally 
The ergonomic comfort of a full-sized keyboard and larger screen contribute to my productivity. contribute to my productivity. Contribute. Contribute. Contribute to my productivity. The ergonomic comfort of a full-sized keyboard Ergonomic comfort Ergonomic comfort The ergonomic comfort of a full-sized keyboard The ergonomic comfort of a full-sized keyboard Additionally, the ergonomic comfort of a full-sized keyboard and larger screen contribute to my productivity. I hope you found that exercise helpful. Remember to visit IELTSIELTS.com to sign up for the free newsletter. Thank you for leaving a like or a five-star review on this episode, and join me again next week for another speech-shadowing exercise.